I'm Marion Rossa Owen. I'm a curator in the Middle Eastern section at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. And um, I'm here to introduce the Remai project, which is the international collaborative research project, which the Victoria and Albert Museum is participating in with the Alhambra in Granada and the Louvre Museum in Paris. Um, that project is funded by the EU and focuses on three aspects of our collections which we're studying in parallel but also occasionally together and those aspects are 19th century photographs of the Alhambra, um, plaster work, architectural plaster work from the Alhambra and Nasserid ceramics so especially lustreware ceramics which are uh, made in Granada in the 14th century. My name is Victor Borges. I'm a senior sculpture conservator at the Victoria and Albert Museum and I work in the sculpture conservation department. One of the objectives of the REMAI project is to be able to identify which fragments of plaster were from the collection we have, the BNA, belong to the Alhambra Palace and are from the 14th century, from the Nazareth period, and which ones are later reproductions in plaster of Paris from the 19th century. We are very interested as well in looking into the different materials and, and techniques from the, in the, within the original panels. We are very interested in studying the different types of mortars. We would like to look at the surface of the panels, look into the pigments, look at, into the way these panels have been carved, either carved or reproduced with moulds. One of the interesting results of this project will be uh, to manage to locate the original location of these panels within the Alhambra Palace. Some of the panels we have in the collection uh, could be from areas of the palace that don't exist anymore. Um, and, and some fragments are from, from areas that were restored at some point, probably in the 18th or 19th century. So it's about tracing back their history, how they left the palace, how they came to England, um, that will give us a lot of information about the restoration of the building as well. After several stages within the Remay project, where we've been discussing um, the different lies, lines of research that we were going to choose, among other things, with the Alhambra Palace and the Louvre Museum, the other two partners of this project. Today we go to the stage where we are actually, uh, after selecting the pieces we are going to study, we are taking the samples from the objects. And for that, our colleague um, Ramon Rubio Domene from the Conservation Department and the, at the Alhambra um, has come to help us to take the different samples in ceramics, in the ceramic pieces and the plasterwork fragments. Soy Ramón Rubio, trabajo en la Alhambra en el departamento de restauración y yo me encargo de en el taller de restauración de yesería y alicatado del patronato de la Alhambra. Y gracias a los trabajos que llevamos haciendo durante más de 20 años hemos permitido sacar unas conclusiones de, de, de una analítica y de unos estudios a través de la práctica en el material de yeso y ha permitido pues que hoy instituciones como esta que estamos aquí, como el Museo eh, Vianney y, y el Museo del Louvre, eh, pues estamos eh, dando a conocer un material que, del cual se conoce muy poco y pretendemos eh, sentar la base y dar a conocer un material del que hasta el momento se, se conoce y se ha hablado muy poco. Eh, en este momento estamos eh, realizando una serie de muestras sobre el material y tratamos de identificar una serie de elementos y de materiales que conforman unas capas que al final da, dan paso a, a hacer una obra en yeso y esto va a permitir identificar la procedencia y el origen de, de estas piezas, ya sean piezas originales del siglo XIV de, o XV de época nazarí, o incluso réplicas o reproducciones que se han ido haciendo a lo largo de, de los años y que también tienen su relevancia y su importancia dentro del, del mundo del yeso. 
Eh, se van a hacer una serie de análisis eh, con una instrumentación científica a través de laboratorios específicos de, de análisis, tanto en la Universidad de, de, de España, a través de la Universidad de, de Jaén y Granada, y en el, en el eh, acelerador de partículas en el, que tienen en los laboratorios del Museo del Louvre, en París. Va a ser un análisis, eh, creo yo, concluyente y se entrarán las bases para eh, poder eh, eh, catalogar muchas piezas de las yeserías que hoy día se desconocen en el mundo.